Howdy gang and welcome to another episode of Masala Guitar! Check it out! Um, new t-shirt design. What do you think? Quite lovely isn't it? It's available on my Redbubble store right now so uh, if you would like one you can head over and um, check them out and purchase one. If you do please do send me a picture because I would love to give you a shout out on the show. Uh, today, today's lick was actually written by me, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> for a track that I did when I did the video for the Chapman Guitars ML2 Pro Modern, which uh, Rob had actually asked me to do, Rob Chapman had actually asked me to do that video, so I was like, yeah, sure man, no worries, I will take your ML2 home with me and do a video for you, dude because I love you. <laughs> He's very cool. Uh, Rob is an absolutely amazing guitar player and a really super amazing guy as well. Now, I don't have the ML2 here today, so I am gonna play on Pili Chico, which is looking rather dashing on my chair here. Always a lovely guitar to play, the Vola Zenith. So I am gonna show you this lick, which is a string skipping lick. And I use this in the context of melodic minor. And I love to use it. And there are a couple other positions which I sometimes use with this, but this one I actually kind of did more in a kind of rock context and it fit the song. So it's uh, one shape which I'm gonna be using uh, in two positions, then I'm gonna change the shape just a little bit, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Just one fret on one string. And, and the rest of the shape is going to stay the same. So I wanted to show you the simple concept but how effective it is and how spicy and masala it is, man. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely lick to play. And it got me playing that quick section. I added some tapping into it when I did the repeat of the section as well. And that just added another element as well. It's a really, really cool one. So it crosses over beautifully between that kind of melodic minor thing that I like to do and also with just a general kind of, you know, a rock context. So let's see how I do this. You want to know how to do this, don't you? I know you do. I'm going to show you. Let's do it, man. Let's do a muscle like guitar lick right now. Chickle is such a cool guitar. I uh, want to give a shout out for Pili Chickle, the wonderful Vola Guitars Zenith RT. Love this guitar. Sounds so good, plays so well. So go and check it out. Alrighty, so this lick uh, was inspired, I guess, by Rob Chapman. <laughs> My buddy Rob. <laughs> because you know what? That guitar was just awesome to play. I, I don't have it here. I borrowed it for the video. And um, then it went back home to Rob. <laughs> but a wonderful instrument. Really, really great, great, great guitar. So go check that one out as well. The um, ML2 Pro Modern by uh, Chapman Guitars. Alrighty, so uh, this lick that I played was a string skipping lick. It's, string skipping is something I've been doing forever and a day. Um, just something that I incorporated into my playing quite a long time ago. And I like to use simple patterns. My brain works better like that. No jokes. <laughs> but you know, um, I find it easier to actually execute licks when I'm using simple patterns. And I'm going to show you this pattern and then I'm actually, next week I'll probably show you a, a variation on this pattern as well because I used it in a different context and it actually gave a completely different vibe. In this context it's kind of the masala guitar type thing, a little bit exotic, a little bit of rock. So the pattern that I am playing, the first pattern that I am playing, which I'm going to repeat uh, two frets down in a second, is uh, the 13th fret of the G, G string, 14th fret of the G string and the 16th fret of the G, I'm going to hammer those notes on. I'm just going to pick at the 13 and then hammer on to 14 and 16. Then I'm going to skip over to the high E string. I'm going to pick at the 12, hammer on to the 14 
and then hammer on to the 16th. So just one variation, I'm just going to the 12th fret rather than the 13th fret. And I'm using the same fingers, I'm using my first finger, my second finger and my pinky. So this actually makes it easier to do. So I'm going to hammer on to those notes and then, then I'm going to pull off from 16 back to 14 and back to 12. So that first move, 13, 14, 16 on the G. 12, 14, 16 on the E and then back to the 12. And then what I'm going to do is come back to the G string and pick at the 16, pull off back to the uh, 14 and then the 13. And that's our turnaround point. I actually then just hammer back onto the 14 and the 16, go to the E string as well. So kind of like this, if I do it slowly. So that's the pattern that we're going to be using. Quite a simple pattern. <laughs> now the tricky thing about it is the string skipping and doing the string skipping cleanly and at speed. So slowly like that, very possible to do. One of the most important things about string, string, string skipping, if I can say it properly, it's a tongue twister, string skipping tongue twister. <laughs> One of the tricky, tr tr I can't even say it now. <laughs> One of the trickiest things about string skipping <laughs> is actually getting your pick over the B string to the E string. And I use this motion where uh, when I pick the string, I'm actually picking outwards. So if I give you a sideways angle, I'm actually picking outwards like this. So at a, at a diagonal rather than straight down, rather than doing this. And then going to the next string, I'm actually picking outwards slightly so that I'm coming away from the strings. And I can show you from the other angle, you might see it better here. So my hand is coming away from the strings a little bit. And this actually gives me the angle to come down to the E string. And while I'm playing that, I'm actually taking my hand away from the string just a little bit as well. So that picking motion, it's kind of, you know, going in a kind of, this kind of motion where it's almost a little triangle shape. And that's what gives me my skip over that B string. And when I did that playthrough, what I did was I played this twice. Then added in the trill between the uh, 13 and 14 at that stage. So when I add that in, we have that. Then what I did was I went back two frets. So this time I'm starting on the 11th fret. Exactly the same shape. So this time I'm doing 11, 12, 14 on the G string. Skipping over the B string to the E string. I'm doing 10, 12, 14 and then back on myself. Back to the G string, 14, 12, 11. So I'll play that twice and then do that. Now the third shape changes a very little bit. So this time um, I'm going to the ninth fret. So again, going down two, uh, two frets there. Um, and this time I'm going to do nine. 11 and 12 because I've just played the 11 12 there. So when I go down, it makes sense to do that. The 9, the 11, and the 12. And then when I go to the E string, it's going to be the same as the previous one. So I'm going to start on the 8th fret this time, then go to 10 and then 12, and then back on myself. So same shape, exactly the same kind of intervals on the E string, you know, um, initially started off with the 12, 14, 16. Then I came back to the 10, so I did 10, 12, 14. And then the third one's going to be 8, 10, 12, so two frets at a time. So when I add that in... Uh, 
we get that. All right, after I did that third pattern, I actually go back to the second pattern. <laughs> And this gives us um, the four bars basically. So bar number one is the first pattern. Bar number two is second pattern. Third bar is um, pattern number three. And then bar four is the second pattern again. And then I go back to the first one. And when I go back to the first one, on the repeat, I'm going to add in a tap. So what I did there was, um, I did the uh, the pattern initially exactly the same. So uh, 13, 14, 16 on the G, 12, uh, 14, 16, and then back on the E string. Now on the repeat, when I get up to the uh, 16th fret of the E string, I'm going to then tap on the 19 on the E. And then come back on myself. So I'm going to do the whole thing. Then I go to pattern number two, and this time I'm going to tap at the 17. So the pattern's going to stay the same the second time um, I'm going to tap at the 17. Then third pattern, I'm going to um, basically tap at the 15 when I get to the top. And then just like the first time, I'm going to go back to pattern number two and add the tap in at 17 again. And then right at the end, I do a big bend, a whole step bend at the 22nd fret. And there you go, guys. That's the whole of that masala lick. It's a nice spicy one, but it fits really well in the rock context, which is why I included it on this track. It just fit really beautifully within the, the context of what I was playing. And I actually planned it in. I actually planned in the uh, chord changes which I did underneath it, everything, because I wanted to play that pattern. I was, you know, messing around on that guitar, that ML2 Pro, and, um, you know, I was doing that string skipping thing. And it just felt really, really easy and natural to do on that guitar. So the action was beautiful on there and stuff, and the fretboard was just fantastic to play. So I actually planned it all within the track and then wrote something which would support it. Yay! So there you go. I would love to hear your thoughts on it, so please do leave a comment in the comments box below and let me know. Alrighty guys, have a fabulous week. Enjoy learning that. Um, the tab can be downloaded via the link in the description box below. In the meantime, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification so you're the first to know when the new videos come out. Yeah! Also, please do give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media, on Twitter and Facebook and etc, etc. And if you want to check out the new range of Masala Guitar t-shirts, please do head over to my Redbubble store and check them out. It helps to support the show and um, yeah, they're wonderful t-shirts as well. You will love them. Yeah! Alright guys, have a fantastic day. Here's the playthrough again. You know you want to watch it. You know you want to watch it. I'm going to show you the whole, whole playthrough this time. Yeah! Let's do it. Let's do it. See you later. Bye!